that's another thing that's different too is is commission based and and chair rental um mm-hmm. that can drive barbers to to not wanting to work there anymore any longer i mean it is what it is everybody wants to keep money in their pocket right i mean so they're gonna do whatever's best and whatever's um best for them if you open your own what do you what are, what are you gonna do what are you thinking commission or book well rent? i think i mean there's there's pros and cons in in both of them right wow I that's the question that's yeah, the golden question that's the golden question right i mean what's gonna work best for for everybody um little by little i'm learning learning that commission actually gives the opportunity for everybody to 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 win right i mean gives the opportunity for the barbers to make money uh the owners to make money and everybody's creating that that environment that uh where where everybody can grow a little bit more um but it also i mean again i still haven't learned knowledge i don't know um how how you run your your shop tico but um i guess people opportunity to have a more team environment i guess you can say that you can be able to provide different uh benefits of working for for the shop right i mean i feel like running uh a chair rental leaves it gives an opportunity for the barber to make more money um but also gives the influence of being self-employed right like you get the feeling that you you are your own boss and make your right. own schedule right i'm, I'm only there that. to to pay for your rent pay for your chair and th- i do whatever i want so they they exclude the the team uh motive or the team uh yeah energy right so it's like oh i don't really I don't have to do what the team is doing. I got to do what I can come in whenever I want, do whatever I want, how however I want. It's like if you do chair rental, you were a landlord. You were in the rental right. business. Right. Now if you have a commission based or hourly based, if you have them as employees W2s, mm-hmm. then you were in the people business. You have right. to build a team. Right. Which is a completely different ro- route. Right. Yeah, it's completely two two different If things. If you rent chair, you're just the landlord basically. Right. Yeah. You have a space, you pay me <coughs> rent, you're using this amount of space, that's it. And that's it. Yeah. Exactly. So completely it, different. It kind of leaves that that uh that barrier, right? I mean, that whether the barber wants to grow by himself or even be be a part of a team. I feel like it's difficult having a barbershop and having that team environment with that concept of only renting out chairs because like they're going to feel entitled to themselves and not entitled yeah. to a team. Yeah. You know, or a part of a team. I believe, th- I believe there's a lot of pros and cons. One is if you rent a suite, right? Mm-hmm. You have uh you create your own time like right. you are saying um you dress as you feeling like to be to do your own style. Mm-hmm. I believe that is a is a is a pro. Mm-hmm. It's one of the pros. Uh, you can listen to your own music, mm-hmm. the environment. You don't have to um, ex- be working at a shop. They they might have their culture right. there. They listen to s- just a certain type of music that you can listen to your own and create your own playlist. Mm-hmm. There's much more than that. Also, you can create the experience that you want. That you want, you know. Mm-hmm. That's that's how you are, right. Justin. That's that's my f- exactly my way to do things and. Right, right, right. And and in the other side, the cons could be when you work at with a t- team, you can learn from each other. Right. Even uh, if it's an advice or a technique mm-hmm. or like more the soft skills mm-hmm. side. Maybe some people over there are really good talking, communicating. You can learn from them and how they do. Yeah. Um, there's one of them working at a shop as a team building. It's very, if you're starting the industry, if you're just starting like a, 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 year, a year or two in this industry, I truly recommend someone start at a shop because yeah. you can build up your own clientele. The shop has already uh, a name and, and a fixed location that people already Google, go there, and you can start building your own clientele and learn from others. 
and then you go to the suite since now you have your clientele you can pay the bills and can yeah. be yourself i so. agree i agree a hundred percent i mean definitely i don't think going into your own suite is a good idea if you are starting out especially if you don't have a clientele established because if you're not well established, then it's going to be difficult for you to pay the bills and keep up with the bills and stuff. So um, working at a shop and top of that, the, the advantage is that you actually learn how to bring in that culture, right? How to learn how to make your own culture, how to acquire clientele. You have that advice. You have that support with your team to, to build yourself up and grow. At a suite, you're on your own. So the only help that you have is what you seek out, right? You have to seek out other other classes and knowledge, and you have to fend for, for, for yourself. And one thing so about the suite or chair rental is if you're taking vacation, if you're out of work, you still own the rent. Right. Now, if you work by commission, if you didn't work... You don't make money, but you don't have to pay anything. They're not going right. to charge you. Right. Let's say you were sick for four days. Yeah. Your landlord, the owner of the shop might say, whatever, you got to pay rent, man. I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. But if you work by commission, you don't have to worry about that paying without being there and working. Right. right. And the barber shop could also offer you benefits that you cannot get on your own. Mm -hmm. Let's say discount on products. They buy a big batch of big amount of products and they get a discounted price right or even um we're learning about this it's not common in our industry it's more common in the hair dresser mm -hmm. business which is uh even if you were a 1099 mean you're a self-employee you mm -hmm. have your own hours but it's to share commission with the owner of the shop right they can offer you some type of life insurance dental visual insurance very right. cheap that you cannot get on your own if mm -hmm. you're trying to go there and get right. you won't get as cheap right so there's a lot of benefits that the shop could bring to the team it's different than working by yourself as a sweet renter right. right 